Hey Dave, I just figured that maybe you'd want to see this old radio that I've got set up. Um, as you can see, I've got the old shack in the background here with all the vintage equipment. But what you can see is down there at the bottom with a couple of orange lights, that's my uh, AN. The radio itself is the ANURC-9, but uh, the unit right below it is the remote control. And then right above it, I have two different radios, but there should be an amplifier in there, which I do not have, so I'm always on the hunt for that. But the uh, the radio itself and the control unit make it a U uh, AN SRC 21. It's a 16 watt um, 220. The stuff online will tell you that it's a 225 through 400, but uh, it'll actually do 220 through 400 megahertz AM only. It was designed and built in about 1954, 55 uh, for the Navy. And while it was not a very reliable radio, uh, the Navy kept modifying it and eventually it became uh, a, a radio that uh, served them through probably about 1977, 78. It was replaced by the uh, Whiskey 3, ANWSC-3. Um, which uh, did satellite and line of sight. Um, so it had a fairly long life. Um, it was used not only in the United States, but a lot of the uh, countries that uh, bought a lot of our secondhand equipment. Uh, and then also, uh, it was modified uh, for a contract bid by Teledyne to also do FM. I have never seen the FM one, but I have a manual that... Uh, they call it a uh, ANURC-9B, and uh, it does not only AM, but FM. Uh, I'd love to get my hands on one of those, but uh, um, I've never seen one. So, but uh, as you can see here, I'll bring you down, take a look at it. So as you can see here, so this radio, this is the power supply. This is the actual uh, radio itself, and then down here would be the control unit. I don't have this hooked up. I think this was done as a government uh, like slush fund here because the channel dial and everything that allows you to program for the different channels, 19, up to 19 specific channels, always was mounted to this piece of equipment. But you can also switch the 19 channels here. So. I don't exactly know why they put this on there, except for the fact that probably, you know, maybe they had an idea that they would use it later somewhere else on the ship. And if they did, I have never heard of it. But one of the things with this radio is it's mechanically tuned. So as you flip through the frequencies, It mechanically tunes, and then you can actually see, as you tune, the dials moving. Right here, so it says I'm in manual mode M, then it says 224.5, which is where I have it set. And uh, I want to set it to normal, not retransmit, and then uh, I have the microphone hooked up to it. Now, what I've done, is because of the fact that I can't get anybody uh, in AM, I have the trusty mic, you can hear it running. And it's on 224.5. I can come over here, I have it into a dummy load. And then here's my SDR. And then you can see the spike over here on the edge as I'm communicating. This is K6YIC, testing, testing, K6YIC, testing, 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 K6YIC. This is the end of the test, no response required. K6YIC out. So, that being said, it was into a dummy load. My SDR is actually into an antenna, so it probably uh, didn't radiate outside the garage. But 
Either way, I just figured you uh, might be interested to see the video. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up on my website and then I will actually put a blog post that shows this later. But uh, once again, the radio is an AN URC-9 and it's part of the AN SRC-21 radio set, which includes uh, just the radio and the uh, control head itself. It, if it had the amplifier, it would be an AN SRC-20 and the amplifier is a 100 watt tube based uh, amplifier um, that this radio doesn't have. Uh, as it sits right now, the radio is 16 watts out, and uh, which should be fine being that uh, I don't know anybody else that's actually using an AM only 1.25 meter band radio.